guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I'm back here at Moss Acker in Tampa Bay because guess what? I have this stunning Apex Blue 2020 Acura MDX A-Spec. But before we dive into this beautiful blue SUV, let's talk about what this vehicle represents. The MDX is Acura's largest SUV. It gives owners that three row capability. Now, when you go A-Spec, you're getting some extra touches that are gonna allow the MDX to really just separate itself from the pack of SUVs. And there seems to be a ton of them out there, especially those luxury uh, marketed ones. With the MDX, you're gonna get some of that luxury, but you're also gonna get sports styling with the A-Spec package. One thing right off the bat that is A-Spec specific is this beautiful Apex Blue. But why don't we go ahead Let's dive into this MDX and see really, is it a luxury but sporty SUV standout? Right off the bat, I love Acura styling, that precision performance, and the direction that they're going in, there's been some really great changes. On this MDX, you're gonna get the multi-jewel, full LED headlights, LED turn signals, and daytime running lamps. I think the way they blacked out the interior of the headlight housing was so smart, especially with this A-Spec uh, trim level. Now, as we toggle down, you do have some uh, side, functional side air curtains. This portion here, this honeycomb fake grill, I could do without. So I am going to zonk this. I'm hoping that on the redesign, they do something a little different here, but you do get the same jewel style LED fog lamps. And on the A-Spec, you're getting this blackout chrome trim. So not only are you getting some gloss black, but you're also getting some black chrome, which really helps with the sport and the luxury side of things. Now, as we come across the front grill, the way that all of the different elements of the grill kind of flow away from the Acura emblem really showcases that precision performance. I like the flat black. The grill design has movement to it. It, it looks like these elements are actually moving away from that iconic uh, emblem. Remember, Acura has been around since 1986. It is the premium brand of Honda. Black chrome trim, unique and specific to the A-Spec model with the gloss black. We work our way down. You have the honeycomb grill that is functional in the center. And I do like the way this gloss black follows from one corner, comes across the front lip of the fascia, and then all the way to the other corner, which also has a fake vent. So at least they have balanced out fake vents. That's one good thing to look at. Now, when you get up onto the hood, really nice styling. You see how they take the indentation here they raise it onto the hood and then flow it all the way back towards the windscreen and then you're going to have these two curves one on this side curves towards the windshield and then on the other side same design really gives it a nice aggressive flow and like i said i, I think they really did a great job showing movement with the car just sitting still now as we come around the bend what are we going to get on the a spec you're getting these 20 inch shark gray wheels. I didn't make that up. They literally call this color shark gray. They took a bunch of sharks and actually took pigments of their skin color and brought it into the wheel. Nice multi-spoke design, super clean. You got ventilated brake rotors there. It would be nice on the A-Spec to have some extra handling or braking performance. So I am going to zonk that, but I do love the design. And with the apex blue and those shark gray wheels, spot on the money. Now, as we go into the fender, you get this tasteful badging. Think, I think the way they do the red pops so nicely on the A-Spec trim. Color match mirror caps, a little bit of gloss black. Look how slim those turn single are, singles are. You're going to have this lower sill extension that's gloss black. That's part of the A-Spec package. You have a standard size sunroof, gloss black around your window treatment, color matched on the door handles. Look at the rear quarter window on an MDX. Very, very sharp triangular design. The way they take that black trim and just flare it out a little bit. And the way that the belt line gets picked up on this rear fender and kind of flares out gives it a nice aggressive look, especially to the side. Now, as we come around the back, what do we work with? A-spec, you're going to get a gloss black low roof spoiler. We drop down MDX badging. Tasteful on the taillight design. This has the great SH all-wheel drive. And if you're wondering, well, what's SH? Is that like super happy? No, it stands for super handling all-wheel drive. Wait until we take this for a drive because you're going to see how it stays planted 
Love the gloss black rear diffuser. And on the A-Spec, you're getting this whole rear bumper fascia unique to the A-Spec trim. Large, massive megaphone uh, exhaust tips. Really sets it apart. And then you have another A-Spec badge on the back to kind of round it all up. But why don't we go ahead, let's pop the hood and see what's powering this MDX. All right, guys, you got the hood popped. You do have one hydraulic hood strut. Underneath this is a bunch of plastic. Engine cover is pretty tasteful. It's got the Acura badge on it. The good news is, is what's underneath that engine cover. You have a 3.5 liter naturally aspirated V6, 290 horsepower, 267 pound-feet of torque. It's all gonna be routed through a nine-speed automatic transmission. You could tow up to 5,000 pounds with your MDX, zero to 60 in a very quick 6.3 seconds. MPGs, almost 20, almost 20 in the city, 25 on the highway. That's the thing I like about the MDX is having that naturally aspirated V6, especially when you're going towards that mid-size segment of the market. It kind of gets a little mixed. Some people are staying turbocharged. Some brands are going uh, naturally aspirated like on this Acura. Why don't we go ahead, let's get to the interior and see what the A-Spec trim brings to the styling department. All right, guys, we're inside the 2020 Acura MDX A-Spec. I know you're at that point, you're like, Joe, that blue is really doing something to me. It's making my heart pitter patter. I like the flexibility of three rows in my MDX, and I like the idea of that all wheel drive. How much is it? MSRP is right around $56,000. That includes an extra cost for the Apex Blue, but I think it's worth it. Let's see what you get on top of that for the money to the door panels. Downright sexy. The top of the door panel has nice soft touch material. Look at that silver trim. Look at the Alcantara that's perforated with the contrast stitching. Even that, I'm not gonna call it faux carbon fiber, but there's a really cool design below that Alcantara that just really stands out. It's not gloss black, it's not carbon fiber, it's not faux carbon fiber, but it looks damn good. Stitch work on the armrest is great, soft leather, and then you're gonna have a good size uh, door pocket. You could put a bottle of Coca-Cola, maybe a, a Chipotle burrito or two. Just don't squeeze any guac anywhere because guac costs extra. Now when we get to the dash, things are a little, a little bumpy. I do like the soft material. I love the way it flows from the door panel towards the infotainment system. There's that beautiful brushed aluminum trim. And I'm really liking what they did with the black here. Very distinctive. Now this is where there's a little bit of a zonk because it's dated. Now the good news is we still have a redesign coming soon, but you have the large screen up top. That's gonna be for your navigation as you can see. And then you drop your way down. This is all the other controls. So you're gonna have your AC, your radio controls, all that is all built in to this lower screen. Does have a CD player, which is nice. That seems to be something that's going bye-bye. You do have a volume knob, which is also nice as well. Ventilated seats and heated seats, which is a welcome. Let me push that so I could recirculate. Good, let's recirculate that air. But you can see it's very quick reacting, nice touch screen. You do have simple AC controls. If you don't wanna go into the screen, you could adjust your temperature very, very easily. Start stop button, nice, sexy, bright red, like that fine touch. And then the center direct control knob is actually gonna uh, change what's going on with our navigation. So you actually don't touch this. You can touch it, but it doesn't do anything. You actually twist the knob and move the knob and that will allow you to navigate through that. And there you can see we're located in sunny Florida. Now, let me throw it into reverse and show off that backup camera. It's a little on the grainy side, but the good news is you have nice uh, trajectory, which is gonna help you with your backing up situations. Put it back in the park. And then as we come back to the center console, you have that same sexy design. I'm liking this trim. The silver, open up door number one. You have a nice 12 volt in here, a place for your Jolly Ranchers and it's felt line, so you're not gonna scratch your Jolly Rancher. No guy wants a scratch Jolly Rancher, that's for sure. Close that, then close that. That's the way the rules work push button transmission. This is gonna control that nine speed automatic. If you don't like this style, the good news is, is that it really cleans up this area here. Instead of having a shifter, you have your different drive modes, which I'll show you more about that when you get to the business end. Two cup holders, and then you're gonna have, what I like is they put some rubber trim here so you could actually lay your phone here, or you could slide this open and then voila, you got two USBs, you got an aux jack and a 12 volt. So that's gonna keep you covered. Key fob your standard accurate key fob nice size flip it around 
You got your silver buttons on here. You got your panic button when you're freaking out. We'll put that back. And then storage, you could easily put three boxes of Twinkies. And I'm not exaggerating one bit. Armrest, look at this. They got a party tray for Skittles, a place for toothpicks so you can pick out all the food that you're eating in your MDX. And then we open up that, and you could drop a bag of Lay's chips, maybe some Pringles. Maybe you can even put a hamburger or two in there. Just eat it before it gets cold. Nobody likes a cold burger. And then seats, love the leather. On the A-spec, the leather, the stitch work. Look at this Alcantara. I just want to pet this like a pussycat all day long. 12-way adjustable seats for the passenger and the driver, be able to conform to your body. Even the piping, it's crazy how you put a little bit of piping on a seat and it makes it elevated so much higher. Sunroof, it's gonna put glare on my face, but standard size sunroof, it would have been nice at this price point, 56,000, to have a panoramic sunroof. But other than that, tons of room, feeling good. Coming over to the business side, I wanna show you behind the wheel of this MDX A-Spec. All right, guys. Business time behind the wheel. You do have two memory seat settings. Here's your seat controls. Look at the way they bring this nice brush trim there. Nice touches, the A-Spec badging on the sill. And then on the A-Spec, you're also getting the pedal, the uh, uh, aluminum pedals. So you're getting a nice dead pedal, brake pedal, and throttle. Looks classy, and it's nice to have a large dead pedal to support yourself, even when you're driving down the highway or a twisty road. Now, looking at me in the seat, remember, I'm six feet tall. I got plenty of room and getting that 12-way adjustable seat to fit my body doesn't take long. This does have the ELS premium audio sound system with 10 speakers, so that's going to allow you to rock out really nicely. Steering wheel is going to allow you to rock out through the twisties. Look at this. Leather, the gray contrast stitching is just downright gorgeous. You have the perforated leather all the way around this bottom portion. A-spec badge, some silver trim. I do like them. Uh, controls for your information. I'll show that in a second. You do have two small paddles to go up and down that nine-speed automatic transmission. And then the dash is so clear and concise. You have an analog tack, coolant gauge, speedometer, fuel gauge, and then you have that information display in the center where you could scroll through a ton of different information. But I guess the one thing many people would say is that I'm going to zonk that because it doesn't have any of the fancy digital TFT display like you see in a lot of the competitors. I think for the redesign, it's coming. But still, if you want something that's just, you you glance at it and it's easy to figure out, it looks nicely done. I'm actually going to have Victor come back because I almost forgot to show you the dynamic mode button. So when you hit dynamic mode on that little digital display that we do have, you do have three different settings, sport, comfort, and normal. That's going to adjust things like how the transmission behaves, the engine behaves, the throttle, that kind of stuff, just to give you a little bit more spirited driving. But why don't we go ahead, let's check out the mid-row, because remember, this has three rows. Let's check out the mid-row and see how your passengers are going to be loving life, eating their Fritos while you're going through the corners. All right, guys, mid-row time in the MDX. What's great is, is guess what? Just like the people up front, you're going to get this beautiful Alcantara and leather material. So soft, so luxurious, so sporty. Backs of the seats, I'm so glad they went leather all the way around. You have a nice size pocket for a couple books, maybe an abacus, maybe even a back scratcher. I have my own pocket over here, so I could have my own back scratcher. I don't have to borrow yours. That's kind of gross. Two AC vents. You got your rear AC controls. No heated seats or ventilated seats, but you do have, and I'm happy to report, two USBs. That's a nice touch so that your passengers can keep their electronic devices all nice and charged. Sitting here, it's really comfy. And it almost is like stadium seating because I, I feel a little bit higher than the two people up front. The nice thing is, is look at this. Yeah, you could do that with the seat. It has nice sliding capability and, of course, reclining, which obviously you don't want to hit your head in the seat belt, but it reclines a little bit. It would be nice if it reclined a little bit more, but I do like the sliding feature, especially for people with longer legs. And then here we go, armrests. Now, the good news is, even though it's vertical and not horizontal, they do give you a lot of nice, soft real estate to rest your elbow, because this is an armrest, not a cup rest. But we'll put that back. Let's go ahead. Fingers crossed. I'm going to say a prayer or two. Let's see what it feels like in the third row. All right, guys, third row time. Now, the good news is it's real simple. There's a button on the back of the seat. You push that, leans forward. They give you a pretty good amount of real estate that's also plastic, which is good if you have kids because they'll rip up carpet 
I like the way they put the plastic here. Here we go into the third row. So you climb on in and I'm going to kind of slide over. It's a little dark in here, so I apologize for uh, not bringing more sun into the back seat. But you know what? I'm a little hunched over. I mean, I could, I could, I could do this. I could do this for about a half hour. My legs are up pretty high in my mouth, but the great news is, is that they're not hitting the back of the seat. And the wonderful news is, is that overall the seats are comfortable back here. My only zonk, really, besides my knees being up in my mouth, which I, this is all wheel drive, so I'll let them have that. There's no, uh, there's no rear AC. So in Florida, I mean, I'm getting a little bit of it, but not much. So it would have been nice to have some rear AC or also have a USB or a 12 volt in this area. You do get two small cup holders and plastic armrests, but I'm telling you, the leather's nice and soft. They don't get any Alcantara. So if you really want the Alcantara, you better call Shotgun or beat up one of your brothers and sisters to get in that, that middle row because you're only getting leather. Sorry, but you're only getting leather back here. But while we go ahead, let's check out the cargo area and see how usable this MDX really is. All right, guys, time to see what we can fit in the cargo area. Nice electric assist on this A-Spec MDX. It's actually not too slow. When you open it up, here's what we're working with. So you, you do have a 12 volt here. Would have been nice if I had a 12 volt for that third row where they're sitting, but you have a 12 volt. You got a nice little cubby for some Twinkies. And then underneath here, what I love about Honda is the great storage. Just like many other vehicles, they really maximize the space. Think about all the snacks you could fit in here. Funny bones, zingers, even some, bring out some little Debbies. Let's not forget about little Debbie. Bring out some little Debbies. That closes up. Now, with the seats up, if you're wondering, how do you get them down? Let me, uh, let, let me show you. So pretty good amount of space with the seats up. Real simple. You just pull this down and throw it down. Pull it down and throw it down. Look at all that room. Mid row is in the full up position. Now, if you're wondering, well, Joe, what are the hard numbers? With the seats up, with the third row up, you're looking at 15.8 cubic feet of space. You fold those seats down, you're looking at 43.4 cubic feet of space. You fold down that mid row, you're looking at almost 91 cubic feet of space. What I love about it, look how flat it is, nice and flat. Love this brushed aluminum trim. The only thing I, I'm kind of concerned about is I wish there was a little bit higher lip. If your driveway's on a hill or if you're parked on a street that's a hill and you just went out and bought a store's total allotment of Campbell's soup, all those soup cans are gonna fall out the back and then you're gonna be chasing down the street looking kind of funny. But other than that, really beautiful amount of room. Let's go ahead though, if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go see how this super handling all wheel drive is on this MDX. All right guys, we're in the 2020 MDX A-Spec. Right away, I love driving these MDXs. I know that yes, there's a few things, well, maybe more than a few things that need to be redesigned or updated. But the way that they drive really just speaks volumes of what Acura is doing and, and with their uh, quality, the, the road noise is very low in here. And really the way that the interior of the MDX is laid out, it, it's easy to get to everything. I mean, even though we have this dual screen setup, which isn't my favorite, it is very easy to get to the AC controls. The navigation screen is at a good height steering wheel is absolutely wonderful it, it almost feels like it's a steering wheel out of an nsx that's how good the, the thickness of the wheel is the material everything feels really really spot on but let's see how acceleration works on throttle just going to leave it in drive on the brakes into this right hand bend look at that that all-wheel drive keeps you planted feels good and one thing that i've always loved about hondas and acuras is that it doesn't matter what vehicle you're in you are getting some great feedback to the steering wheel um, and it, it allows you to just feel confident when the road does get twisty yes it would be nice if this had some extra horsepower because it is an a spec but even with a, the a spec trim just being more aesthetics the driving dynamics of this mdx is really spot on Materials feel good, nice soft touch materials everywhere. Visibility out the back window is really, really good. Side mirror is awesome. 
and the seats are so supportive and comfortable at the same time. So that's a really big plus. I'm gonna go ahead and put it into dynamic, excuse me, into sport mode, and that's gonna adjust how some of the parameters of the engine and the transmission and everything behave. All the driving dynamics are gonna change a little bit in this MDX. But even over ripped up pavement, I mean, look at this. Real nice and solid, good feel. Would be nice to have a panoramic sunroof, but uh, at least you and the passenger up front get to have some sunshine on you. Everybody else, uh, too bad, so sad. All right, guys, let's see how she handles again on throttle. On the brakes. Decreasing radius, look at this, look how she handles. Super smooth, no drama, nice balance. That's what you want. That's what you want out of your SUV. And this vehicle really checks off so many boxes. Having the comfort, having that great handling, all wheel drive system, good feedback to the wheel. Yeah, I have it in sport mode. And you could shift with the paddles if you want to. So it's a nice uh, flexibility in how you want to do your driving, or you could just put it in comfort mode and just go pick people up from school and go out to a movie. Or when the road gets twisty, you can see how it handles. All right guys, driving down the road here, really, really smooth. Love seeing a little bit of that apex blue on the hood. Visibility out the front is amazing. The way that they move the A pillars so far apart really gives you a great view out the windshield. You have electric tilting and telescoping steering wheel, which is wonderful as well. And these 12-way positionable seats, like I said, you can get it to fit your body type very, very easily. All right, guys, let's do an acceleration test from a dead stop on throttle, just leaving it automatic mode. No drama, gets the power down. Look at this, this is great. So as you can see, she really handles well. I like in sport mode, holds the revs up so that when you get on throttle, it's not chasing through the nine speed, even though the nine speed is a great automatic transmission. And it really is just a, a nice pleasure to drive because it fits every little, everything you could think of in an SUV. Now, yes, if you want more usability out of a third row, this probably is not gonna be the SUV for you, but if you want that reliability, that beautiful blue, and handling that really is second to none, you definitely gotta check one of these MDXs out. But we're gonna go ahead and get back to Maz Acura, so I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, it's been another wonderful day here at Maz Acura. I definitely gotta thank David Moss, Albert, the rest of the crew, so accommodating to get us not only an MDX, but an MDX A-Spec, it really shows that, you know what? If you want that great reliability, you want naturally aspirated V6 power, you, you like a car or an SUV in this case that has that little bit extra sporty feel, touch, and sensation, this MDX, I think, is checking off so many boxes, especially if you're ever in a pinch and you need that third row capability. But if it's vehicles like these that you want to keep seeing on Raised Rise, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way, I'll hit the subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rise family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rise merch. Got to get it out to Victor. Working that camera out here in the Florida sun. He's loving this Apex Blue. He actually wants to paint his body this color. So we'll get that handle for you, Victor. And just like always, I'll see you on the next ride.